We all know that there's more to the iPhone than just the settings app. A lot of third party apps have their own privacy settings that you need to change to protect your personal privacy. Right. Like Facebook, for instance. But even if you don't use Facebook, stick around because we're going to get to another really important third party app that you probably never heard of, but is really going to protect privacy. Go back to the home screen. I'm going to open up Facebook and my iPhone. Tap on your account icon, lower right hand corner of the screen. Scroll down to settings and privacy, open that menu, then tap on settings. One thing you're gonna notice here is that a lot of this stuff is, is buried because yep. they don't want you changing it. Yep. So we're gonna scroll down again to add preferences. Let's tap on add preferences. Tap on add settings at the top of the screen. <laughs> scroll down here to manage data, use to show you ads. Tap on data about activity from partners. Use data from partners, turn <laughs> that switch off. All right, now before you go to the comments section and say, you're going too fast, slow down. Know that there is a feature in YouTube that you can use, and uh, we'll have put it on the screen yeah. a little bit before this, to slow down the video if we're going too fast. Yeah. The problem is that it's hard to go fast enough for some people, slow enough for other people. We do our best, use that pause button to the best of your ability. We apologize if we're not going the right speed for you. Yes, turn that switch off, choose whether Facebook can use data from their partners to show you personalized ads. No, ain't that the truth, jeez. So we're gonna scroll up and tap back, upper left hand corner of the screen, scroll up again, tap back. And then we're gonna look for location, it's under security, tap on location. So. Location services while using, we set that up in iPhone settings, but here, location history. Allow Facebook to save a history of precise locations received from your devices. Why? Tap on location history, turn that switch I off. I don't trust any of this stuff. Now, if you leave location history on, you can set an auto delete if you really want Facebook to have your precise location and then sort of automate that. Uh, but I'm just gonna turn that switch off. I don't want Facebook saving the location history. Yeah, I think that they probably do whatever they need to do with it and store it and then, yep. oh, auto delete it. Okay, I trust you now. Yeah. One yeah. other app with a lot of privacy settings is Twitter. And they're on the news now. Elon Musk is gonna save Twitter. Is he gonna change these settings later? Maybe. Open up Twitter and tap on your account icon, upper left hand corner of the screen. Scroll down and tap on settings and privacy and then tap privacy and safety. So scroll down and tap on ads preferences. Same thing with Facebook here on Twitter, personalized ads. Turn that Didn't Elon off. Musk say he was going to get rid of ads completely? Did he? He did on Twitter. That's what oh. he said. He's going to get rid of ads. It reminded me of like a class president in elementary school being like, we're going to get vending machines. There's going to be free pizza on Thursdays and no more homework. Mm. And you're like, I, I vote for Johnny. And then sure enough, None of that happens. We'll see if ads disappear from Twitter. I hope he improves the platform. I'm not holding my breath. No, I, I, I don't think so. I mean, if he's not going to make it profitable, I mean, not like it is, but like if he's not going to even try to make it profitable, he's, he's I mean, he's a smart dude. He's going to make the money some other way. I want to know how. Next, tap back upper left hand corner of the screen. Let's tap on data sharing with business partners. Allow additional information sharing with business partners. Yeah, that's a little vague for my tastes. Yes. So personal information sharing with business partners? Twitter always shares information with business partners as a way to run and improve its products. When enabled, sure. this allows Twitter to share additional information with those partners. Additional information. To help support running Twitter's business. So they're already sending some information. Do you want them to send even more information? Uh, I can't believe that people have to pay for this service. <laughs> if they're sending like you're, you're, you are the product. Yeah. So yeah, turn this off. That's. That's crazy. Yep. Tap back upper left hand corner of the screen off Twitter activity. Manage how Twitter uses your online activity outside of Twitter. Do you want to allow use of where you see Twitter content across the web? Mm -mm. No. Personalized based on your inferred identity. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Twitter what does always, that even mean? Twitter will always personalize your experience based on information you've provided as well as blah, 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 blah. when this setting is enabled, Twitter may also personalize based on other inferences. Inferences. Inferences about your identity, like email addresses and phone numbers and devices and browsers you haven't used to log into Twitter. What? There's a lot of stuff. That's freaking crazy. 
turn that switch But I, I just think with these apps, people are always talking about, oh, is it like using my microphone or my camera to track me? And, and a lot of the time, obviously, no, right? No. Because they're not doing that, but they don't need to because they yeah. can see every swipe, everything that you do on your phone, they can see. You thought we were done with Twitter. Uh, why I not? did. And tap back, upper left-hand corner of the screen. Location information. Personalized based on places you've been. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Also, precise location here. And I've tested this. Even when you turn it off in iPhone settings, mm -hmm. you still have to come in here and just make it like triple sure. I did this on my phone and it was still on. Uh, so I'm going to turn off precise location. Turn it off in both places. <laughs> it's so silly. Now, we can't go through every single app. If there is a specific app you'd like us to talk about, or leave a comment down below. Let us know. Uh, Google is another big one, obviously, and there's a whole so bunch TikTok, of Google account settings. Yeah, Tic yeah. Well, TikTok, they make it really hard. You can't even turn off uh, right. personalized they, ads. Right, they, they TikTok. changed their mind. Yeah. Yeah, because you used to be able to. But really, go into some of the apps you use most often. Look for those settings and privacy settings and uh, see what you can find. Yeah, let us and know. You teased an app earlier in this video. Let's talk about that app. Cloudflare. Cloudflare is this awesome security service mm -hmm. that will protect you online in a way that an HTTPS website, for instance, an encrypted website cannot. Additionally, it's gonna make your phone faster and you can choose to have it block malware websites. Mm -hmm. So in case you accidentally go to a website that asks you to download Flash, it just won't go to that website, which is amazing. And additionally, if you wanted to, you could have it block malware and adult content, mm. like for your kids' devices, and then you don't have to pay for that stuff. Cloudflare is an amazing service. They make all their money selling services to enterprise. This is something they provide for free. You should install it. Yep. I do. So let's go to the App Store on your iPhone. Tap that search tab, type in Cloudflare, look for 1.1.1.1 faster internet. Tap that install button. While this app is installing, we'd really appreciate if you could join this channel. Joining this channel is a great way to help us out and support David on his birthday. Almost. It's what? Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. But Zach, you ready? Oh boy. Okay, the last time he blew it out too soon. So, no. happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear David. Happy birthday to you. Come on, Zach. I, I feel like. Like, key bed. okay, the, sorry. The, the universal, you know, awkward moment is people just sitting there and you're singing happy birthday to them. <laughs> so, by now, that app has installed. Let's open up 1.1.1.1. This is looking worse and worse yeah. every time. Looks delicious. <laughs> so, you get the splash screen, what is warp, and I'll give you some of the details that David here just gave you. Just tap that next button our commitment to privacy. We talk a lot about companies that are not great with privacy. Cloudflare is an exception. They are awesome. Great with privacy. Tap accept. Install VPN profile. Mm -hmm. Tap on that. Tap allow. Enter your passcode. A lot of notifications. Do you want notifications? I, I don't. No, don't need them. So right now, my internet is not private. 1.1.1.1 would like to find and connect two devices on your local network. Yes. Yes. Tap OK. And then it's turning that switch. It's nice and big. You can't miss it. You can't miss that switch. And I mentioned the malware filtering, which is something that companies like Norton try to sell you, but this does better anyway. Let's just turn that on. And the reason I want to walk you through it is because it's kind of buried, but mm -hmm. let's do it. So in the app, click on the hamburger icon in the upper right to open settings and then go to advanced and then connection options and then DNS settings, and then 1.1.1.1 for families, and choose block malware, which is what I choose, or choose block malware in adult content if you want to. There we go. Well, check mark will appear. Job well done. So now if you go to a website, like even through Google, which you think would do a better job of filtering, and if it doesn't load, it's because it's a malware website. This thing works really well, and it will make your devices faster even. You can set this up manually, but if you do, it won't work for every website and with your cellular network. You have to use the profile, the VPN settings to do it that way. So the app is the way to go. It turns itself out automatically. I think I've sold it, but it's worth it. Yeah, a couple best practices for you while you're using your iPhone. Don't use unsecure Wi-Fi networks. Right. iPhones have gotten better about warning you about this stuff, but unsecured Wi-Fi networks are amazingly unsecured. You can have somebody sitting next to you and just seeing exactly what you're doing. 
Yep. You don't want to do that. Yeah, don't go to your local coffee shop and just... Yeah, and that's another tip, yeah. really. If you want to be super secure, it's better to use a hotspot on your phone, especially now that people have unlimited data plans more often. Mm-hmm. Better to use the hotspot than uh, the local Wi-Fi because you don't know what that Wi-Fi is collecting about you. However, something like Cloudflare Warp, which bypasses the Wi-Fi's DNS, blah, 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 technical, is more secure. So this will keep you protected. Also, be cautious of public charging stations, especially at a place like an airport. Yeah, airport, Disney World. Yeah. yeah. You never know who's on the other end of that charger. Yeah, and, and iPhones have gotten better with that little trust pop-up yeah. that pops up now. So it used to be that they could just steal a bunch of stuff from you. I still really don't trust them. And for privacy, but also because you don't know what kind of power is coming out of that yeah. thing. You get a power surge, your phone's fried. Yeah. That happens. Watch out. Watch out. Look out. If you enjoyed this marathon video, consider supporting us by joining this channel. Joining this channel is a great way to help us out. We could sure use it. God knows we've spent a lot of money making these videos and a lot of time, and we're trying to grow. Like We're almost to a million subscribers, yep. but we're not done. Big tech is spying on you. Your personal information isn't secure, and advertisers are collecting an absurd amount of information about you. That is the truth. In this video, we're gonna talk about it.